So you probably clicked on this video thinking, I don't know what I'm talking about, this is clickbait. And technically this video is clickbait because it's not just one skin that costs as much, it's three skins in a bundle. And on top of that, it could cost even more than $500. Uh, for me, it cost $561. I have to look at my bank statement and I was not very happy about that. Now, obviously, you do what you want with your money. You spend it how you want it to. And I was doing this as a means to investigate a store uh, on Reddit. Basically, I was talking about how the store is broken in Modern Warfare. And I always wanted this bundle, the Spetsnaz bundle. And for the sake of research on the store, because it was broken a few weeks ago and still is now, where not all the bundles are there, I decided to keep buying bundles to force rotate the store. I came to realize that at the end of the rows, they would be out of bundles. And... Eventually, every week, there's some new bundles, not new bundles, but I should say there's new rotations added from older bundles, and apparently, I had bought so many bundles, I think I bought at least like 45 or 46 operator bundles that I'll probably never fucking use. Apparently, I bought so many bundles that it force rotated bundles from season one and season two that had no weapons on them. They were completely rare. And the reason why this specific Spetsnaz bundle costs so damn much, which I love the skins, this, these are skins I've wanted for months. The reason why this costs so much is because this is not an easy going buy. You have to force rotate the store to get this because this bundle was only available twice. It was available for one day for eight hours straight, and I think March of last year in 2020, and was available sometime in August of last year, like the beginning of August, and it was only available for, again, a day straight. So this bundle is extremely rare, and it doesn't exactly apply to the Jackals bundle specifically because the Jackals bundle is actually in several people's store right now. It does not guarantee you're going to force rotate the store to get the Spetsnaz bundle. Now the Spetsnaz bundle, it cost 1100 COD points, so technically it costs 9 dollars right? Uh, well, again, I had to force rotate the bundles. I bought several bundles, 2400 COD point bundles, 1800 COD point bundles, 1200 COD point bundles. I tried to stay away from blueprints so I can keep getting operators. And what happened was after about I don't know, three months of doing this buying just non-stop, I came across Spetsnaz. The fact that it cost me $561 exactly is atrocious. And again, there's people out there who says it doesn't matter what you buy. I don't know why you give them money because it's only your first person model. I just like the aesthetic of it. And this is more so an experiment than it was really a personal choice after I passed a certain threshold. It's like, okay, I'll just keep buying so I can see what happens. The store is broken. I can definitely make a separate video about that. Basically, the bundles are not up for you. The bundles are universal. And it's random what you get every week. They rotate a little bit. Last week, one of my friends didn't have the cow bundle. Now he does, uh, because the cow bundle's in the store now. And what you get from the Spetsnaz bundle are some, in my opinion, some pretty interesting skins. Uh, for some reason, the Spetsnaz have Marpat camo on. I don't know what that's all about, uh, but they do. That's not accurate to Spetsnaz, but they still look sick. Rodion looks like an actual fucking Marine. That's why I really liked it, as well as the Bale skin. The Battle Clav looks sick. The Minotaur skin doesn't really look all too different from the Season 1 Battle Pass, so that's why I just don't really care too much about it. The watch looks really nice. The only thing I don't like about the watch is that the watch looks like it's a miniature bracelet. It looks like it's extremely small on the wrist, and every operator that I've worn it on, it just looks like it just does not belong there. So the watch you have to watch out for, but get it. <laughs> I'll stop. But the watch you can watch out for. The calling card looks really amazing. Again, personal preference, however you like it. Again, this bundle is not going to come to you easily, and if you do somehow get this to your store, with and without having to buy anything, I'm gonna ask how the hell is that possible? This bundle cost me so much money, it's crazy. It will cost you definitely some money to rotate the store forcefully because by next week the bundle will be out of the store. So if you want to get a bundle that's rare right now that you think no one else will have and the Jackals is in your store, try to get the Jackals bundle because that right there is up front and no one else is gonna be able to buy that for the simple reason there are no blueprints attached to these bundles. So if you want these bundles right now, the faction bundles, you need to get them before they go. Because, again, there's no armory, there's no weapon a blueprint attached in the armory to these bundles. And on top of that, you have to realize, these bundles are random. Every week, they change different bundles in the armory. You know, sometimes you get the same bundles for the weeks on. Sometimes they'll remove a bundle from the armory and add another one. These bundles never show up in the armory, so they're going to be extremely rare in the future. Now, of course, there's the Jackals bundle, there's the Spetsnaz bundle, the Demon Dogs, the Crimea, the SAS, the Warcom bundles. They all look great in their own right. All right, if you can ma manipulate it to make it so the store keeps going forward, you might get the Spetsnaz bundle because of this rotation. Uh, but I think I had it as a better chance just because I bought all the bundles before. So I'm just letting you know, these skins cost a lot of money. And it doesn't look like it. Again, $9.99? What are you talking about? 1,100 card points, right? No. You have to force rotate the store to get these skins, and I've been doing this for the past three months. So my chances of having this bundle were slightly increased ever since. And it's even harder because you have to realize they keep adding bundles every week or every other week. They added the Lurch bundle uh, last week, they added the Clown bundle this week, they had that Domino bundle a few weeks ago. 
And every time they keep adding bundles, the probability of you getting that bundle that you want is just much, much lower. And if you want a blueprint that's attached to a bundle that's not in your armory, tough shit. You have to wait until next week or whenever they decide to add it. And that's why I really am frustrated at the store right now. Now, obviously, I'm not going to spend any more money on this on this game. I already have what I want. My experiments is done. Essentially, it's just how most of my red posts are saying, where the store will rotate Again, by Infinity Ward's terms, not by you. So you can keep force rotating the store, but it's only going to have about like 20 or 25 bundles before you run out of the row. Uh, essentially, it'll just be an empty space at the end. So that's interesting. I thought I'd let you all know that. These fucking skins cost a lot of money, a lot of time, and it's probably not worth it if you just don't have the money for it. If you do have the money for it, for whatever reason, just keep spending. You'll eventually get them, especially in this rotation, because other faction bundles will be suggested to you. So that's great. If you can get the War Compact, that looks great as well if you like camouflage. That's all I just want to talk about this video these skins cost so much it's not clickbait these three skins i love these skins personally is it worth 500 dollars or more you could be spending 700 if you haven't spun as much as i have i don't know that's up to you to decide personally i don't think any skin should be worth as much it's like buying modern warfare pre-order twice with the nvgs twice and a half i should say it's Probably not worth it in the long run, but again, you're the ultimate judge for that. Anyways, I just made this quick video. I'll be back to making regular scheduled content throughout the week. I just want to bring this to your attention because last night I was in arms about buying the Spets Naz bundle. I was amazing. I was excited. I was gleeful. But hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're cognizant of how the store works. Do exercise due diligence when you're buying bundles with card points. And again, make sure that you know what you're buying. Because not all the COD points are lined up specifically. $9.99 for 1100 1999 for 2400 You can't buy a specific amount of COD points, but you probably knew that. So just keep that in mind when you're buying these bundles. And that being said, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm Cyblox, and I'm signing out.